Most people have seen this already, but this is a v picture that went viral last week um, of Gunnar wearing a pretty horrendous outfit from head to toe for the most part. A lot of people were kind of, you know, teasing him, getting on his back for it, which I can understand because objectively it is a pretty terrible outfit. But if I could defend him in one sense, I'd say it is very individualistic, right? I've never really seen a lot of people try to marry Rick with Christian Dior, right? There's not much that really kind of links the brands apart from their designers are white or something right there's not much about it that you would say has any kind of correlation with what they do whatsoever um i'm not too sure where the vest is from or the shorts um but regardless the look overall in terms of just looking at it from the eye i'm not too sure where the glasses from the glasses off white i'm not too sure if they are are they off white uh no what is that is that places is that louis vuitton i don't know i'm not too sure but regardless um it is objectively a terrible outfit. But again, the one thing I would give him props about is that at least he tried to look somewhat original, right? You're not going to see a lot of people wearing these. I'm not sure if they're turbo dunks. I'm not sure what you'd call the, these Rick Geo kind of high top stack things that he's got on at the moment. Um, but regardless, you won't really see anybody wearing that kind of length of a boot with that kind of length of a short um, on top of a jumper with a vest on, leather vest with these amazing zips on it. It looks kind of Margiela-esque, but you wouldn't see people make that up, especially not with the excessive jewels. It's not something that you definitely see. So you can definitely see he has an appreciation for fashion. He definitely wants to look a certain way and drip, right? Drip or drown, you know, no pun intended with that little paddling pool in the background of his, but it's just not, it just doesn't come together enough. And one thing I really wanted to point out also is that people kind of, I think, underestimate how difficult it is to dress really well when you have unlimited resources to a certain extent right where you can buy just about whatever you want i think it's probably harder than people imagine because i think part of the reason why a lot of people are really stylish now online especially some of the quote-unquote influencers a lot of them kind of have to make do with you know stuff they buy from vintage shops second hand on sale but there's a lot of kind of you figuring it out on your own you might get your piece here and there but the stuff that you really want a lot of these guys the stuff that they really want they're not going to get it sent for free by a brand they might get a discount code on an online store but no brand's really going to send a uh, youtube influencer free clothes because they're already you know freely off their, off their own back promoting their brand without being paid anyway why would they then go and kind of get out of pocket and send you something they're not going to do it maybe the old thing here and there but they just want so look for example like a brand like rick they get enough of they get a lot of free advertising through instagram brands instagram sorry accounts like men and rick owens it's very unlikely they're going to go out and say hey and go now we see you wearing our shoes here's some free sh or like you know here's a free shoe come to a store and buy what you want it's not gonna happen you might get seated your thing here and there you might meet michelle lamy for a coffee but you're not going to get an entire wardrobe given to you by those kind of brands because they're already getting a lot of free marketing off you guys anyway so with that being said they're having to most of these people that really look the coolest, you're having to go out and buy and purchase a lot of stuff, which is good because you've got skin in the game. You're not like these show studio toffs, so I mean, that just pontificating and talking about clothes and who buys what, and you don't even go to stores, you don't wear the stuff, you don't interact with people that might wear it, you don't go outside. You know what I mean, it's just you're not, you're not involved, you're not in the mud, you're not on the front line where these guys are. So obviously they're going to look better because you're having to mix stuff that you bought in Rocket, with stuff that you bought in essence stuff that you bought in goodhood it's a lot harder to do no sorry because of the constraints you find creative ways to kind of express yourself and usually you end up looking amazing but when you have all the money in the world and you could go legitimately and fly your private plane to any location where you might have stock of the stuff that you like it must be very difficult to get yourself to look great because there's a lot of things going on in your head because you've got money so you want to let people know that you have the money so you put all your diamonds and chains and jewels on you have very expensive glasses. You want to make sure that you're wearing this jumper that you bought because it's black and it reminds people that you have money because it's Christian Dior. Um, and the vest as well, it costs you a lot of money. You want to make sure people know that you got that too. So it's it's very difficult to con it's very difficult for a stylist, for instance, to convince somebody like a gunner to just maybe put on a white t-shirt, take off the jewels, right? Um, maybe swap the shorts for something else or swap the trousers, swap the shoes or whatever. It's very difficult. Just imagine, just yeah, forget that. Just imagine to try and get a gunner just to wear a white t-shirt and take off the jumper. Maybe even to keep the chains on. Like just a nice white t-shirt, a Uniqlo one that kind of fits him a bit tight. He wouldn't want it. Do you know what I mean? He wants to look this way because it kind of reminds people of all the money he spent on his clothes because he's actually purchasing it for his own money, which is of course it's great because it shows a passion for fashion. But in terms of a look, it's just hard to comprehend and get in your head. So, 
you know, it's good to laugh. It's good to poke fun and stuff. But I think part of the reason why we, us regular folk, look a lot better than some celebrities you might see is generally because we are, don't have the money to buy the stuff that we that they do. We are constrained somewhat in terms of our options, and because of the constraints, we get more we get more creative. We understand what we understand what to take away and what to put on, or what looks like too much, and then we kind of you know dress accordingly to that. And usually, um, we're able to kind of put together some semi decent outfits. And I guess that's basically where it stands. But again, I wouldn't rag on it too much. I don't think it's that bad. I still think you know at least he's trying to look a certain way. It didn't necessarily work, obviously, clearly, based on the reaction that. People people gave to it but again dressing well with when you got a lot of money is very difficult so we see people that do dress well with a lot of money give them their props because it's not easy it's not easy